hello guys and welcome back in the last video we learned how to add more space to the volume group and logical volume so this video will be about how we can shrink the logical volume and the shrink operation process is risky task need preparation before you perform it on production environment and the main goal of the lv reduce or lv resize is to free some space to volume group uh, known as vg please to pay attention also for two things first one is the logical volume used space and available space you need to shrink the free space amount don't try to shrink more than the free space the second one you need to check the file system whether it's xfs or extension for ext4 or any other file system this this is important to see how you can perform the shrink operation to perform shrink operation you need to understand one thing you have two layers first one is the logical volume lv belongs to lvm and the second one is operating system file system that means you need first to shrink the file system then you need to do to reduce or resize the logical volume note that if you reduce the logical volume without do it do it first on file system the logical volume lv file system will be corrupted if the logical volume have extension for file system extension 4 or ext4 file system not support online shrink you need to unmount the logical volume first then you can resize the file system then reduce or shrink the logical volume if your logical volume have xfs file system xfs file system is not supporting shrink operation till now as per the xfs official site published on 2019 i will put the link below in the description box with that being said let's jump in to the practical side so as you can see here i have the terminal so the first command we need to run is vgs to see what we have yeah uh, information about this data data group uh, volume group so we can see here the volume group name is data underscore vg we have three physical volumes uh, two logical volumes we can see here there is a zero as you can see here a zero free space that's mean we don't have enough space to create any additional logical volumes so let's assume that we want to create a new logical volume but we don't have any additional partition or any additional disks so what we can do we can shrink the file system and reclaim it back again to the to this uh, volume group and create an, any other additional logical volumes as needed okay so the second command we, we need to run is lvs data underscore vg so we need to check what those two logical volume are so we can see here data underscore lv and the second one log underscore lv the size logical size is five gigabytes and the second one is almost six gigabytes so let's uh, now run the other commands so right now we know what we have data uh, what we have logical volumes what's the information about uh, volume group so we need to check how much we have free space on both logical volumes so the command will be uh, disk free or df command like this one as we can see here we have two uh, logical volumes mounted the first one mount to the data and the second one mount to the logs and we see here we have available space that's mean here we have 4.7 gigabytes the second one is 5.5 gigabytes so that's mean we have if, uh, enough free available uh, space we can reclaim it to the data vg and they will be here reclaimed to be as a free space in this volume group okay so we need just to know what's the file system on both of them so how we can do that we can run the mount because we say we see them here mounted so mount on data and logs so we can run the mount command and grip the let me just run like this yeah to make it clear for you to see the command the command is right now is mount 
my bit to the grip minus i data as we can see here the file system is extension 4 so please pay attention for this one this one is important and as i mentioned in the beginning of this video we have uh, two layers we want to just uh, shrink the size the first one is the 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 file system itself we want to sh resize it or shrink it then we have the logical volume we need also shrink it back so both of them they are related to each other so that's mean we have two ways the first one is automatically and is supported the automatic way is supported for extension 4 for xfs i think it's not and uh, there is a, a workaround to do it to shrink the xfs so if you have any different uh, file system stop at here don't continue this one just only for extension 4 and it's risky and dangerous if you continue with uh, with with this way if how i will perform it so it will be risky so if you have extension 4 you can proceed now i will just clear the screen here i will perform unmount because um, uh, it's not supported online shrink for the extension 4 ext4 so i will unmount the data and logs uh, let me check back again yeah as we can see here it's not now mounted so that's mean i can now resize so as i mentioned we have two ways i will start with the automatic way that's mean the lvm will take care of the file system and this one also is supported for extension 4 if you have extension 4 this one will work okay lv resize we can use lv resize or lv reduce both of them the same but uh, the lv uh, lvm resize can you can as i mentioned before you can shrink and extend in the same time this tool is powerful and uh, you need to take care of using it it's not uh, it's a dangerous command again so here it i will shrink it to be two gigabytes so let me first before i run it let's do uh, lvs and then i will put data underscore vg just to see and again also i will do vgs data underscore vg just to have clear idea then i will run this command let's see what will happen as we can see here it's successfully um, it's successfully completed we resized as we can see here the lv resize dash dash resize fs this one will first resize the file system then will resize back to two gigabytes that's mean this will be two gigabytes total after we resize it so div data vg uh, data underscore lv will be later on resized so the first one is the file system the second one will be logical volume let's do the comments again back again back again so the first one is here we can see here it's right now two gigabytes because here we specified the size to be as a gigabyte here also you need to be um, uh, to take to, to take care if uh, if it's less than the data let's say we have one gigabyte and you put here half gigabyte this will corrupt your uh, file system and your lv and you will lose your data and uh, if you force it of course and uh, that's this one it's not uh, good and uh, if you do it you will lose your data and again this is risky don't perform it without measure it well and uh, let's do also the vgs let's check the vgs for data we can see here we have right now three gigabytes free space so we can create right now any logical volume with this uh, free space but uh, i want also to show you the manual one so the manual way we need first to check the file system so this is the command so e2 fs check dash f to force it and then uh, sorry to put the file and then dev mabar data uh, uh, that's mean I, I will perform it on this uh, logical volume uh, log underscore uh, lv so let me just before uh, yeah it's okay let me i will just check the file system yeah it's successfully there is no any bad uh, blocks or anything everything is fine so let me just also now we will resize this one will resize the file system okay uh, if you saw that dash dash resize fs it will do this one 
but here I am doing it manually. Let me just uh, to make it clear for you to see it. Yeah, resize F to FS, div mapper data. Here I will resize it to the to two gigabytes. That means that this one will become two gigabytes in total. Okay, including what we have data on uh, on it. So I will uh, put like this. Now everything is fine. Let's check again the file system. Let's check again. Yeah, everything is fine. Now we can LV reduce this file system. So the LV reduce, but let me just clear the screen. Let's do LV, uh, sorry, LVS data underscore VG. And let's also do VGS data underscore VG. Nice. So now I will run this command LV reduce dash L to G. Then I will put the logical volume. Okay. I will hit enter. Yes, I want to reduce. It mentioned that's warning. This is risky. Don't uh, do it. Maybe you will destroy your data. But here we are perform it well. Okay. So now let's see what's now we have we can see here both of them they have two gigabytes now let me also check the vg we can see here we have almost seven gigabytes free so we can create any other additional logical volumes as we needed so that's it and uh, i think uh, we can right now mount div data Sorry, uh, I will put it like this, mapper, it's better. Mm, data, then data to data. Now we will check the file system. And I will mount also dev mapper data uh, log to logs. I'll back them again. Now we can now do this command to check the free space we can see here both of them right now are two gigabytes let's uh, try to write something echo test on them uh, let's say data sorry data then test.txt cat data test that's mean they are working fine everything is fine so that's it thank you for watching see you next video take care